Hello everybody, it's Kiyomi Pyom Pyom, but you can call me Kiki. So, sea slugs are really cool. Um, I find them incredibly fun to look at and learn about. They almost have their own special powers and are like the glue that helps run the ocean. Also, look at them, they're so cute. I'm sure you've all seen what is referred to as the sea bunny and the sea lamb. And obviously, yeah, look how cute they are. Uh, but of course, there are more to these beautiful creatures than what meets the eye. I want to first kind of break down for you what a sea slug is, as I'll be loosely using this term. So sea slugs are mollusk invertebrates with varying levels of resemblance to terrestrial slugs. Although they can be referred to as sea slugs, they're actually gastropods, which is a broad term used for the class gastropoda. So snails, slugs, and nudibranchs are all examples of animals in this class. Um, but what I'll be talking about today is the soft-bodied mollusks in this class of gastropoda called nudibranchs. So depending on the species, gastropods may be carnivorous, omnivorous, or herbivorous. Like little vacuums, many consume detritus or decomposing organic matter. And as a result, that this plays an important role in the local carbon cycle, under the sea obviously. So nudibranchs eat using a beak and a radula, which is like, a radula is basically a tongue with teeth on it. They use this to scrape off prey from the rocks that the prey rings onto. Um, some suck out of their prey after pre-digesting its tissues with selected enzymes, kind of like a wasp. Um, but nudibranchs are picky eaters, and individual species or families of nudibranchs may eat only one kind of prey. These slugs have an enormous variation of body shape, colour and size. Um, most of them are partially translucent. Um, often they're in bright colours though. Um, this implies that they are under constant threat of predators but the colour can serve as a warning to other animals as the sea slug's toxicity level, or the singing stills. This is called aposmatic coloration, and is also more popularly prevalent in venomous reptiles. When newborns have babies, they look small and are like little snails. Um, they actually have shells, but even with a developed operculium, as it develops to its juvenile state, the baby nudibranch loses its shell and recomposes itself to a different form that will suit not being in its shell that they once lived in. As when the nudibranchs are in shells as babies, they are very squashed and almost contorted. Um, I find personally the thing that really attracted me to wanting to learn more about nudibranchs is their interesting physical features. Uh, they are categorised into two main types of body composition. So the first type are called dorids. Um, this is the most common type of nudibranch there is and it's got a feathery tuft of gills located on their backs. These gills help them travel in various types of interesting and cool ways. They also are able to retract their gills into a pocket by drawing them into their bodies. This serves as a way of protection if needed. For example, look at the blue glacius nudibranch. They float upside down by using surface tension of the water to stay up, allowing them to be carried along by the winds and the ocean currents. They camouflage using countershading, so basically what countershading is, is that um, in this specific one, the blue side of their body faces upwards, and this blends in with the water, and the white on the silver side um, is downwards facing, um, and this blends with the sunlight reflecting on the ocean surface when viewed upwards underwater. Um, only being one inch though, they're pretty hard to spot, but they are very spooky um, as they feed on jellyfish. They use the sting cells from the jellyfish that they ingest to protect themselves from predators. Um, think of it like if you were stung by lightning, or like a bee or something, I don't know, or you ate a bee for whatever reason, please don't eat bees, but say if you ate a bee, you'd be able to like sting people with your finger, <laughs> or, or you can think about the hex branches sanguinous, but this is known as the Spanish dance in Nudibranch. The only type that has the ability to swim, which is really cool. Um, the funny thing about them is that they swim, um, when they swim they look like they have a little skirt on and even do dance off with others to find a mate. They can measure up to 40 centimeters, so they're pretty big for a nudibranch. Oh, also I mentioned before, uh, there are interesting ways that they defend themselves. So nudibranchs kind of remind me of Kirby, and this is really interesting as because they don't produce their own chemical defenses, they obtain it by using food sources um, of their, you know, of their prey. So let me explain. So for example, um, sponges, uh, which are popular sources of nutrients for nudibranchs, often contain a yucky tasting or even poisonous um, like chemicals in their tissues. So after eating the sea sponge, the nudibranch have the ability to then recycle and use these chemicals in their body to decrease their palatability 
and deter predators from eating them. Some of them even get their bright colours from their diets, which is cool. So to put it in an easy way, nudibranchs can absorb special powers like Kirby. Um, the second type of nudibranch though, or, or not second type, but the second kind of body composition of a nudibranch is alloids. Um, so these have squishy spikes to cover their backs. These are also called serrata, which aren't exactly gills, but are actually a continuation of their digestive system. They also help with breathing and can be utilised for defence against predators. It helps their breathing in a way, um, as the alloyed nudibranch absorb oxygen through their skin, the serrata increases the surface area of its body, um, and this helps them absorb more oxygen overall. Um, for example, you have leaf sheep nudibranchs. Uh, look how cute this is! <laughs> His name's Sean. Uh, he, no, his name's actually Sean. He's characterised by his unique diet of only algae, which means leaf sheep nudibranchs are the only type of animals in the entire world that can perform photosynthesis by using the chloroplast of the algae, which is cool. Sean's really smart. Also have the Phyllodysium magnum, which uses the serrata not only as a way of breathing, digesting and defense, but they can also use these as like solar panels. By feeding on algae, um, with their anemones and corals, the solar-powered nudibranchs store up the absorbed algae, which continues to photosynthesize within the serrata, providing them with an ongoing source of food and sugars. Um, and this is really interesting. Oh, also something that is also interesting is the way that nudibranchs reproduce. So to find a mate, the nudibranch uses its foot, which is, I guess, the foot of a nudibranch isn't what you think a foot is, so it's like... Um, you know how snails use that little snail trail and they've got the like thing thingy that they slide on? Yeah, that's called the foot. And that's this is prevalent in nudibranch as well. So they'll use this to create a, a trail, just like a snail does, um, and other nudibranch will follow it. Other kinds, as I mentioned before, and a lot more interesting than this, is the dance-offs <laughs> that the Spanish nudibranch will do. Uh, the nudibranch's genitals are located right near its head and on the right side of its body. Um, this means to find a mate, uh, they have to position themselves so their right sides line up. Kind of like a high five, but with four genitals. <laughs> Nudibranchs are hermaphrodites, meaning that they have reproductive organs of both sexes. This doesn't mean that they are sexually reproduced though. So the reason why they have four genitals um, is because, so they put the two nudibranch, imagine that they're like lined up right side by right side. So I put their peepees inside the other's VVs, um, and then this both fertilizes both nudibranchs. So both end up fertilized. This is well. This is what I personally like to call nudiception. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. This video sucked. 